Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to be talking about addition with regrouping for two digit numbers again. Let's take a look at how we solve these problems. We can add two digit numbers using the place value chart. Our first step when we do this is to write the equation into the place value chart. Then we add the ones. When our ones are more than nine, we need to separate them into tens and ones. So if we have 15 ones, we know that 15 ones is the same as one 10 and five ones. What do we do with that information? Well, we put the five ones in the ones column and the one 10 in the tens column. And last, we add the tens, which makes the problem 17 plus 28 equal 45. Are you ready to solve some problems with me? Let's do it. Okay, here are today's problems. Let's see if we can solve them. If you think you are ready to solve these problems all by yourself, you can pause the video and solve them on your own and then watch the video to check and see if you got the answers right. If you still need a little bit of help, it's okay to solve them with me. These are really difficult, so let's get started. Okay, 24 plus 77. Do you remember our first step? Yes! We write the equation into the place value chart. 24 has two tens and four ones, and 77 has seven tens and seven ones. Okay, do you remember the next step? That's right. Now we add the ones. Four plus seven. Yeah, that's 11. And I know that 11 is the same as 110 and 11. So I need to put my 11 into the ones column and add the 110 to the tens column. Awesome. Now I add the tens. You got it. One plus two is three plus seven. Oh, that's 10. Oh, I'm going to write that right here. 10. Whoa. Do you see this answer? It is 101. Wow. 101. 1. 24 plus 77 equals 101. That was cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the next one. What's our first step? Yes, place the equation into the place value chart. So I have 41, which is the same as four tens and one one, and 29, which is the same as two tens and nine ones. Now what? You got it, add the ones. One plus nine, ah, that's easy, isn't it? That's 10. And I know that 10 is the same as one 10 and zero ones. So I need to put my zero ones right there in the ones column. And I need to add my one 10 to the tens column. There we go. And what's my next step? You got it. Add the tens. Okay, so one plus four, five plus two more, seven. That's it. So I have seven tens. So I know that 41 plus 29 is 70. Very cool. Okay, here's my next problem. Let's write it in the place value chart. Remember, that's the first step. 88 plus seven, okay. 88 has 
eight tens and eight ones. That's it. Ooh, seven. That one's tricky. Is it seven tens or seven ones? Yes, seven ones. So I have to make sure the seven goes in the ones column in the place value chart. Okay, what's my next step? You got it. Add the ones. So I have eight plus seven. Yes, 15. And I know that 15 is the same as 110 and five ones. So I need to place my five ones in the place value chart and add the 110 to the tens column. Okay, so I have one plus eight is nine, that's it. So I know that 88 plus seven is 95, awesome. Wow, we are cooking today. Look how quickly we're getting through these problems. Okay, now this is my last problem, 35 plus 18. Yes. The first step is to write the equation into the place value chart. 35 has three tens and five ones. And 18 has one 10 and eight ones. Okay, what's my next step? Yes, add the ones, eight and five, or five plus eight is so good. You are so good at this, 13. Okay, now 13 is the same as Yes, one ten and three ones. So what do I do with that information? Yeah, I put the three ones into the place value chart. And I have to write my one ten into the tens column. Okay, now my last step is to add the tens, great. One plus three is four, plus one more is five. So I know that 35 plus 18 equals 53. That was so awesome. You're really starting to get good at this. Thank you so much for coming and adding with me today. I hope to see you again very soon.